my foot is leaking. That's not great. No, it's not. Um, I, I'm having issues. It's like with a car. You take it into a garage and fix one thing. It's like, this thing's wrong with it. And they fix it, and you leave, and the next day something else is nice. wrong with it. So you go back and fix it, and they fix that, but then something else. That's me now. Um... Cause that's kinda, uh, for, the, for the kids watching the whippersnappers, um, that's what happens after like age 35. Yep. You become an old car and yeah. uh, every week a new check engine light comes on and you probably can't afford to fix it. Um, so you just get some duct tape and fishing line and you power the night through. Like, kidding. Um, so first we fixed my blood pressure. Well, first fixed a long while back. We fixed my thyroid. Okay. Then my neck started going out, so we got pills for that. So that works. Uh, blood pressure had to fix that. So everything in that direction, all of that's fine. All of that's well under control. Except now, my right foot has started swelling. It's full of water. It's actually full of fluid. To the point where I can prop my leg up and it will drain. <laughs> I can drain water out of my foot back into me. And they don't know why it's doing it. It's it's so bad. My sh it, like if I drain it, it goes back to normal for a while. But by the end of the day, my shoe doesn't fit. So they were like, "Oh wow, that's weird." What? That's not. Yeah, a it's never great when they don't know what's going on. That's weird. Is not a response. You that, that that getting your doctor to say that's weird is like your dentist saying, "Uh oh." Yeah, it's not. Not great. So they sent me in today for an ultrasound to find out if there was a clot in my leg causing it. Um, and I've discovered something. I didn't know this. They did this about ultrasound. Did you know the goo has a warmer? No. They've got a little cozy for the for for the the goo for the, for the ultrasound goo that like makes it warm. It doesn't have to be cold. Well, I, you know what? It actually feels weirder when it's warm. I just got to say. Because I had to have an ultrasound on my thyroid 10, 12 years yeah. ago. And not only, you probably had one too. Yeah. Not only do you have the cold goo, but then for the next 40 minutes, somebody is doing this. Yeah. With a thingy. And and the reason my voice went out is because I was pressing on it really hard because that's what they're doing yeah. for 40 minutes. Well, they had to and do it's -la -la. horrible. They had to slather my entire leg with that goo. And there's a person there pushing that thing into my leg. And it's very weird because they're working on you like like you're an old Buick. Right. But you're also there. So you have to be like. OK, do I make eye contact or. Um, but the, the worst is at the dentist. Yeah, because they're right up in your face, and you're like, "Do I like maintain eye contact with you?" Yes. Like, aha. Good news is, all right. It's kind of a good news, bad news situation. Good news is no clot, which was could have been very bad because that could come loose and gone right to my mm -hmm. head, and I would have dead. Um, but, yeah. So, so there's no clot. Bad news is we still not doing it. And um, also $200 flew away. Thanks, American Healthcare. So that's, that's been my day. <laughs> um, Mike, I don't remember what my shoe size was at this point, actually. That tells you last time I bought shoes. I'm that kind of guy. Does the shoe still work? Yeah, I ain't getting new shoes. Then. <laughs> you can't remember the last time you bought a pair of shoes. Yeah. You don't know your shoe size. No. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I think it's like 11. 11 and a half. What kind of shoes are you buying that have apparently lasted for a decade? Uh, I buy work shoes. I buy like, you know, shoes like for heavy duty kind of stuff. Those give out after a while. Yeah, well. You walk on your hands everywhere? No, I, it, I just... I, um, all right, let me see. Anyway. All right, with that done, this week... 
Yeah, I know men wear shoes till you wear out and you don't tend to buy shoes for pleasure. But I don't know any men who haven't bought shoes in so long they don't remember their size. That is an anomaly. <laughs> Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring it back here for what segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And um, did you know yesterday was 9-11? Did you, did you know that yesterday was 9-11 and you put the word plane in the title of the episode and like two thirds of the YouTube comments had to tell you that? And as we all know, if you say the word plane on 9-11, the terrorists win. Um, but apparently then like George W. Bush jumps out of your mirror. Yeah. And bombs your house, I yeah. guess. I or just Rudy, Giul Rudy Giuliani just shows up. So it's, did someone say 9-11? Someone say 9-11. All right. Old joke, I know. Noun, verb, 9-11. Anyway. Do you remember the mattress sale on 9-11 a few years ago? That was really bad, wasn't it? Yeah. That, that, and, I, and we all thought, okay, they've gotten it out of their system. They know better now, advertisers. They, they, they've gotten the idea. We were wrong. We really overestimated Americans. Restaurant attempts to honor 9-11 victims angers some customers. The, the menu is, it is, it is, oh my God. Let's, um, this is real. This is one of those things that showed up on, on Twitter and everybody's like, this is the onion, right? This is like. You're this, making me click on Fox News. Yeah, but it's a local one. Local affiliates it's are a little different. News.com. I know, I know. Okay, well, this is one of the, like, we thought, like, obvious plant or something. No, no. Here is the menu. And I know somebody, I posted this to my Facebook, and I know somebody who actually lives very close to this restaurant. I promise you this isn't fake. Because they were like, yeah, I've seen these ads. Where do we begin, Tara? I mean, I think we have to start off with a nice, refreshing Remember Teeny. Remember Teeny. Key lime, rum cream, coconut rum, uh, pineapple juice, splash of cream, served up with whipped cream, honey graham rim. And, and so they clearly usually sell this as a key lime martini and they just rebranded it for the day. Yes, but you notice... It, what makes it 9-11 is this little heart hands next to it. That, that really, yeah. that, that's the important part. Is yeah. Remember teeny. Um, I, I thought, what about key lime has anything to do with 9-11? Maybe that's why the terrorists hated us. I think the first moment I was reading this and my jaw straight up dropped was the flight 93 redirect. But wait, there's also the first responder flatbread, crispy oven baked flatbread. Because there's nothing <clears throat> fucked up about dedicating something to first responders, some of whom burned up in a building as crispy. Um, this one took me a minute and someone else had to explain it to me. The 2977 Chowda. The number comes from the number of people who died on 9-11. Yep. It's unfortunate that they didn't think to do like a bottomless wings or something for the bottomless embarrassment we have become. The Pentagon pie. I think just for irony's sake, unintentional, I'm sure, that my personal favorite is the Freedom Flounder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the Freedom Flounder is a verb. What does it mean? 
That's my favorite. <laughs> didn't really think that one through. I mean, they didn't think any of this through. They did, but they also didn't. Like, they put a lot of thought into, they put a weird amount of thought into yeah. doing it. And not a single nanosecond of thought into whether it was the worst fucking idea. But if 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 you want the full experience, you need the never forget sampler. And I, 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 sh I shouldn't say this. Hmm. If you're going to do this. Go all the fucking way. Like the flight 93 is crab dip. That plane went down in a field. Make it a fucking field green salad. If you're going to just be absolutely the worst, at oh, least God, yes. try to be good at it. My intention was to br my intention was to bring attention to that horrific day 21 years ago, George White. Um, and said, um, to honor those who lost as much, who lost so much, as well as those who gave everything that day. Okay, listen, George, um, you don't have to bring attention to 9-11. Do, do you know why? We kind of all bring attention. You know that never forget thing? We don't. We, we, you can't get away from it. No. Every year we redo it like it's porn. And I'm not saying we should ignore it because we shouldn't, but every single year we spend the entire day, every news network spends the entire day, there's specials like, and what kills me about it always is like we act like we're the first fucking people in the world to ever have yeah. a terrorist attack. There are countries where that's just Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. And it happened to us one time. And yes, it was horrible. I had friends in the towers. Thank God they survived. But like I it was a fucking horrible thing that happened. Don't get me wrong. But we act like it's the only bad thing that has ever happened to anyone ever. I mean, we were like that about Pearl Harbor before it happened, before 9-11. We, we still are about, we're about Pearl Harbor. Uh, we starting to taper off, so it's almost like we yeah. were a little excited to have a new thing. The menu was replaced by a seafood uh, Sunday menu a, with football-themed meals such as offense oysters, fumble flounder, and field gold. They just took the same thing and rebranded. I don't, I wish I had the picture of it because they just... The little crab that was next to uh, the freedom flounder, uh, he just he just put he just put a little clip art of um, football on in the crab's claw. I don't understand. And the fucker oh. is like, this is a restaurant in Virginia. This isn't like North Dakota yeah. that was really not touched by 9-11. Yeah. This is Virginia, which is where the fucking Pentagon is. Mm hmm. Within a drive. I don't know yeah. if y'all remember, but a plane went through that motherfucker too. Up. Oh, oh no, he remembers because that's what the pie is for. Never forget, have a piece of pie. Like if this was from some state out west, out here where I am, where like 9 11 didn't happen in your backyard, it'd be terrible, but you could almost understand it because it's more of an abstract concept to you. The fact that this is like. Right near one of the sites. Yeah. Well, let's there, let's not dwell on this because there's way more to spread around this week. Let's just get into the. Uh, oh, for fuck's sake! You're making it easy on him, lady. Uh, woman asked to be busted. Cop grants request. The Was fourth... it for that ponytail? Oh side pony um a florida woman is behind bars on a uh, felony narcotics charge after she allegedly approached a cop and asked quote can you arrest me i have drugs on me police were handling a call tuesday night outside a st petersburg bar when chelsea leah 30 reportedly requested to be busted lee Le leahy 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 oh leahy leahy cyrus 
<laughs> Lady investigator said, removed two small baggies from her pocket, handed them to the cops, saying they contained, guess what? Can you guess what the mystery substance was? Fun dip? Do, 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 It's fucking meth. It's fucking meth. It's, it's always, it's always fucking meth. We could just rename this show, like, The Meth Chronicles. Right? Like, you know what? I, what I need to do is I need one of those dare guys. I need to consult for them. I need to get a consulting fee. Because th if they want examples, I, I could just, <laughs> whoa, big old book on the table, flip through. Ah, I gotcha. <sighs> you ever do these stories and think, Breaking Bad, really? Undersold they it. Missed, like, yeah, they made meth seem fucking cool. They didn't cover this shit. <sighs> they missed a whole facet of the meth story did jesse pinkman never took off his clothes and shit all over a fucking come and go <laughs> so yeah that that's it's so yeah she was arrested he's man make him work for it lady come on i just as always i want to know how we got here sound like <laughs> like you paid money for that right Right? Like, did a Jedi walk up and go, you want to go home and rethink your life? <laughs> what happened there? Does anyone know where Ewan McGregor was this earlier this month? <laughs> he should just do that to people. Oh, he should. If it works. It might, because he's Ewan McGregor. Exactly. He should just walk up to people and be like, you want to go home and rethink your life. He could make the world a better place. Oh, we have more Florida. Oh, God. This is, oh, God. This one. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is one of those. The motherfucker is lucky to not be dead. And we, we, we all know why he isn't. You'll, you'll guess really quickly. I think I've already guessed. <sighs> Florida man pulls three-foot sword on deputies at, during traffic stop. Uh -huh. A North Fort Myers man was arrested after he pulled a three-foot sword. DC affiliate WBBH reported that 34-year-old Randy Osterman of North Fort Myers was stopped by deputies as his parked Nissan Altima partially blocked a bike lane. This is not a big deal, okay? No. Maybe, they're probably just going to tell you to move. Maybe you get a citation if you're really, if they're <laughs> real, but nothing. Big. As if you don't make their day harder, they'll just tell you to move the car. Deputies approached, they found Osterman reclined in the driver's seat. Deputies asked Osterman, Osterman to step out of the vehicle. He reached toward the center console and pulled out a three-foot steel sword. Deputies immediately backed off as Osterman attached a drag metal dragon-shaped handle to the base of the blade. It always has a dragon-shaped handle, it, doesn't it? It always does. The deputies tried to use tasers, but were unsuccessful in stopping Osterman, who begins to stick the sword out of his windows at the deputy. So he didn't get out of the car. Oh, no. He's just waving the sword out of the car door. At the cops. That's not how you use that? <laughs> You'll notice that in none of the Highlander movies does Connor McLeod do that. No. Because it's not eh, going to work. Eh, eh. Ostrom was eventually incapacitated as he tried to flee through the vehicle's passenger door. What's the magic word? Meth! <laughs> Following his arrest, deputies found methamphetamine, marijuana, and a glass pipe. Charged with resisting an officer, possession of control suspect. You know, if it was just marijuana, he probably would have been like, oh, I'm sorry, man. I'll get out. No problem. Oh, man. I, what? Oh, I didn't even realize. Hey, you know where there's like a 7-Eleven? Right. <laughs> you still would have gotten arrested because you're still driving under the influence. Yeah. But just Methlander. Yeah, that's retro. Yeah. 
I, it's, mother, just, I like that he took the sword out, took the second to assemble that shit. Is it just me or is Methlander the reboot we need? <laughs> you can't duel the police. No, you can't not, Effie. Now, I guess that was wrong. Like, they opened by asking him to get out of the vehicle. So they weren't going to just make him move the car. True, but... They, they, they're... but there was probably a very specific smell coming out of that car. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But just the... <laughs> yeah, that's... <sighs> I bet the Kurgan would do meth. Exactly! And Clancy Brown is still with us. He is. <sighs> We've got more. Uh, this is this is Iowa, Northwest Iowa. And were you worried we wouldn't have naked tonight? Oh, don't worry. I was. Naked woman in Rizzer, Rizzer, in River arrested for intoxication. It's Klondike, a 35-year-old Canton, South Dakota woman, arrested 4 p.m. Monday, uh, September 5th in Klondike on a charge of public intoxication. Of Jennifer Ann Chatwell stem for reports of a naked female in the Big Sioux River who appeared to be high on something. Deputies responded to the Klondike Bridge and found her south of the bridge. They were eventually able to convince Chatwell to come to the shore. Please come here. No, you're going <laughs> to yell at me. <laughs> What I want to know if anyone in the chat is from Iowa is um how are the rivers there? Because if you did if you got naked in many New York rivers, parts of you would burn off. Yeah. You you would just melt. You see that scene in Robocop where the guy hits the truck with the toxic waste and pfft, yeah, that that So hopefully the water's cleaner in Iowa, but you still have the thing, see now I don't trust naturally occurring water in general. I don't like them because things live there. Mm -hmm. And I don't like being in somebody else's house. Like, for you, you know what I mean? Yeah. I went to Tennessee as a kid and we went to the swimming hole and I came out covered in leeches. They literally had to pull like six leeches off of me. Ooh. And ever since then, I'll fuck with naturally occurring waters. The stand I did go by me special. Water. Yeah. <sighs> Zero stars do not recommend. So oh. I, I, I stick to pools. Chadwell's vehicle was located on a dead end road on the South Dakota side of the Big Sioux, where she had rolled it into a field and then was seen running away from it toward the river. So she was dry. She, this just, this was a, going off the rails on a crazy train. So you rolled your car. Yeah. And your solution to that was to get out and run into a river. Due to her state of still being clearly intoxicated by stimulants. Place under arrest for public. Meth. Again. Just a string of meth. Meth, 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 meth. Mike says you could swim in the rivers in Iowa, no problem. Okay. Yeah, th th there's. It's but you're still up. A fish is going to swim by and touch you, and they're slimy. Have you ever seen how they how some people um, fish for catfish? No. What they'll do is they'll put their whole arm in the water, and the catfish will bite it, and they pull out the catfish. You never seen that? No. Yeah. Shit's wild. <laughs> Isn't there a risk of injury there? Eh, they don't have teeth. They just fall. Oh. Catfish ain't smart. Um, all right, this next one. Jesus Christ, you fucking idiots. We've both worked retail. Lots of you watching have worked retail. You go in some days and you're like, please go. Can today just be a slow day? Yeah. Just let me catch up on fucking inventory. Let me straighten up my damn aisle. I don't need 12 yeah. people coming in. And asking stupid bullshit. I want to get out of here at closing. Yeah.
even then, I would not have resorted to this. Fast food co-worker behind train track tampering. Investigators say motive was desire for a slow night at work. Oh. Tilden Township, Pennsylvania. Man accused of risking a catastrophe by tampering with railroad equipment didn't act alone. Tilden Township investigators identified Amy Shaner as the woman who helped Ryan Berea both worked at fast food restaurant on uh, Route 61. We're driving through here. She dropped him off. He exited the vehicle. He placed a shunt on the track. He got back in the car, and they proceeded to Wendy's. They said they arrested him on charges of uh, causing or, or risking a catastrophe. Um, why did they do it? They told police they wanted their shift at the fast food restaurant to go slow. During the interview, they told us the intentions were to, that if the gates could malfunction and they could somehow block traffic, that would prevent people from getting to Wendy's and they could have a slow night at work. Right. But you could also have had a slow night at work because a whole bunch of people could have fucking died. <sighs> Because does, police say they put a makeshift device on the tracks that mess with the signal sensors, which meant the gates wouldn't have gone down. Yeah. Would have gone down when a train approached the crossing. Apparently, they were just trying to leave the, the gates down, period, but it didn't. Apparently. But you fucked it up. And uh, you could have killed a lot of people just so you wouldn't have to make a lot of fries. That, I mean, honestly, that's t terrorism. Yes, that's right, Abby. Fuck you, jail. Fuck you, jail. I mean, they probably won't get charged with terrorism because they didn't have that kind of motive, but that... This is the... This would have been the stupidest catastrophe. This would have been like if the Hindenburg had been caused by someone lighting a cigar. Yeah. It's fucking shit. I've worked some jobs I fucking hated. Mm -hmm. I wasn't. I wasn't going to like potentially kill a bunch of people. To not have to work hard. Also, I'm just thinking if you've got this much hustle. Do you really got to be working at Wendy's? You seem I mean, fuck it up. Okay, true. They did fuck it up. They did. They did in fact fuck it up. These people are not working at NASA. Yeah, it's true. So the last one for this week comes from Jerusalem. What the fuck were you fucking? The fucking. Jerusalem area man lets dog drive car rested. 35 year old film pet with two paws on the steering wheel as the pair navigated the streets, suspected of driving recklessly. The early man who filmed his dog, quote unquote, driving his car, was arrested Monday after the video was publicized on social media platforms. 35 year old, a resident of the Arab village of Ain uh, Nakuba. I think I'm saying that right. Or Nakba. Nakba. Uh, Nakba near Jerusalem, uploaded the video of his dog standing on his lap, animals two front paws holding the steering wheel as they navigate through narrow streets. Drivers arrested and taken for interrogation, suspicion of reckless driving. Why would you? I mean, that can't be for real, right? Like, he had to have his hand on the bottom oh, of the wheel? He was probably do driving with his knees. He was probably okay. driving with his knees. He doesn't have thumbs. Yeah, dogs... Yes. <laughs> the dog can't physically turn the car. He can't. It's it's not who is driving? Dog is driving. How can that be? Yes, that's not. So, but still, you got your hands off the wheel. And I will admit, I used to do the I would do the driving with my knees thing. And I did, I, I did that. I was the asshole. When other people in the car, I would do it just to show off. 
Yeah. And that was a shitty thing to do. Don't do that. Especially, I guys, guys, 20-year-old guys, don't do that. Because I'll tell you, years from now, you're going to hate yourself for having done that because it's a shitty thing to do. Don't do that. And it's not actually as cool as you think at the time. No. It's, no, no one's going like, oh, he's so cool. They're going like, this motherfucking asshole. Yeah. The poor, all I can think of is the poor dog. I know. Because this is a good way to get you and your dog killed. And he can't even stick his head out the window. The poor dog is in the car. And he can't even. That's animal abuse. As long as it was in. Yes, it sounds cute. As long as it was in park. Yes. Yeah. You remember Tootsies on Saturday Night Live? You know how they did that? The car wasn't actually driving. Right. That's how you did like that. that. You would take a picture and then move your dog over and start the car. It's just. It's, it's, it's. And the, the, the thing was, if you had to put it onto social media, you're sitting there going, you know what would be funny? I'm going to take this evidence of me doing something dangerous in traffic and I'm going to put it on the internet publicly where everyone can see and I'm going to tie it to identifying indicate information for myself. So you and I are a member of the generation that existed before the internet. Yeah. But also has adapted pretty well to the internet. <laughs> Mostly. Mostly. And I really, because of that, like every now and then I just think, man, 20 years from now, they're going to bother to study and they're going to find out that like the internet has fucked us up. And I know like obvious statement is obvious, but like eventually they're going to have the data, like they're going to do. The and I think that they will find that it has physically changed the way our brain works. Because, like, we joke about little dopamine hits, but that shit's true. Like, when, when I... Like, we're fucking up our neurotransmitters. And I say this as somebody who is chronically online. When, when I used to do this shit, kind of stupid shit. When you used to do stupid shit as a kid. And this guy wasn't a kid, so he's 35-year-old. Come on. I used to do this shit, like, you know, when I just got my fucking car. I was like, oh, it's awesome. Hey, Simba. We would talk about that... Weeks or months later, we wouldn't like assign evidence and provide it to the world. It's the internet. No, no, he's oh, okay. he looks so disappointed. It's like, please let me go. Why? Let me go. I just want to chew on your straw. He's a good boy. <laughs> Hello, good boy. Hello, good boy. He Simba. Simba, what you do? Sit on your keyboard. Okay, there you go. Other direction. <laughs> Come in. Other direction. Okay. Okay. Good boy. Okay. All right. So, do not. Yeah, we learned this. What did we learn this week? Do not document your crimes. That's. That's not. It, why? We've learned just because you want to have a better night at work does not right. mean you attempt to do something that will derail a goddamn train. Yeah, no. It's Wendy. Slack off. What? Just slack off. Slack off. Fuck. Just like calling sick. Well, yeah, but then you don't get paid. Oh, yeah. We have a whole cornucopia this week of meth is a bad idea. Yeah. It will strand you in a river. It will make you wave a sword at police. It will make you just go up and ask to be arrested. <laughs> Don't do this goddamn drug. And before any of that, it might just blow up your fucking house. 
Yeah. Yeah. And we finally, we, we, we learned this week, we learned that uh, capitalism and tragedy just going to orbit around each other in this absurdity and stupidity. I've, I've had bad ideas that at the time I thought, this will be a great idea. Nothing quite as elaborate as this. And again, like, I always, I always say, like, this had to go through rounds of approval. Like, somebody laid out that flyer. Mm. And it's surprisingly well done. Like, this isn't the boss did it himself in fucking Microsoft Word. Like... <sighs> That went to a graphic designer to oh, do. Yeah. Oh yeah, graphic design is their passion. And I guess, you know, paycheck's paycheck. I would have had some questions. Like, why? The, mm. did but the, then again, it is, it is the only bad thing that's ever happened in history. So, you know. Did, 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 have, it deserves an oyster platter of six oysters. Did the nine? Did the nine eleven oysters? Does that mean you get nine? No, you get to six. eleven. You get six. They called it the nine eleven oysters, and you get six fucking oysters. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> Done.